In this final video, we're just going to have a look at the different export settings we have. So if we go to file, we've got two options. We can go export per drawing or export per pen. Um, in the first video, we did export SVG per drawing. But if we do export per pen by SVG, let's hit save. You'll see that actually it will plot multiple different SVG files. 14 in this case because we have 14 different pens. So let's open one of these. And you'll see this is now showing us only one pen. So if you have a plotter where you want to run each pen individually, this is a good way to do it because each file name has the name of the pen and it also has just the lines created with that pen. So that's one way that you can export. Um, you can also go export to an image file. Um, you can see what that looks like quickly. So this is for the whole drawing now rather than per pen. I've actually exported this as a PNG so it will actually have a transparency layer. Um, you can see um, that's all fairly easy to use. Um, we also have PDF and also we have G-code. Um, if we go on G-code and let's go to our desktop again, let's save it in there. You can see we come up with all of these other options and you can configure this to match your specific machine. So hopefully this series has been useful um, to get you started using DrawingBot. In the next series we're going to cover some of the more advanced uh, settings. We're going to go over every different pathfinding module and talk about the different settings and when you would use them. Um, of course a lot of the features that we'll cover are only available in the premium version. But most of what we've covered in this series can all be done in the free version.